Welcome to Research World. In today's lecture we will discuss about what is reliability in research. Examples of reliability. Internal versus external reliability. Reliability refers to whether or not you get the same answer by using an instrument to measure something more than once under same conditions. The term reliability in research refers to the consistency of a research study or measuring test. In research reliability describes the degree that the results of a given study can be repeated or replicated under the same conditions. Example of reliability in research Example number one. A teacher uses a particular questionnaire to measure IQ level of a student. Several different teachers use the same questionnaire with the same student, but give different results. This indicates that the questionnaire has low reliability as a measure of the IQ level. Example number two. A medical thermometer is a reliable tool that would measure the correct temperature each time it is used, in the same way. Example number three. If a person weighs themselves during the course of a day they would expect to see a similar reading. Reliability allows you to assess the degree of consistency in your results. So, if you're getting similar results, reliability provides an answer to the question of how similar your results are. Of course, it is unlikely the exact same results will be obtained each time as participants and situations vary, but a strong positive correlation between the results of the same test indicates reliability. Internal versus external reliability Internal reliability, or internal consistency, is a measure of how well your test is actually measuring what you want it to measure. For example, you give students a math test for number sense and logic. High internal consistency would tell you that the test is measuring those constructs well. Low internal consistency means that your math test is testing something else, like arithmetic skills, instead. External reliability means that your test or measure can be generalized beyond what you're using it for. For example, a claim that individual tutoring improves test scores should apply to more than one subject, e.g. to biology as well as physics. A test for depression should be able to detect depression in different age groups, for people in different socio-economic income levels, or introverts. 